hello. I just got back from watching Lady Bird and I'm happy to say that I really like the movie. Um, the main issue was just that I was crying a lot during the movie. I get very emotional. So I ended up getting like black shit on my face because I had makeup on and for a movie where I didn't really expect to be emotional, I ended up crying quite a bit. So then it just like I just have like streaks of black on my face and I'm not the type of person that goes to the bathroom to check on my makeup so after the movie I was just walking around with like black shit on my face not even knowing but anyways the movie was really good um, I really like Sursa Ronan as an actress she did really well she played the character she like completely embodied the character um, and I was really surprised that this was directed by Greta Gerwig. Um, I've seen her in a few movies. She has mostly been in independent films and I actually didn't really like her or maybe it was the characters she was playing, but she directed this very well. But um, yeah, so today was kind of a full day for me because do I still have black shit on my face? No. Um, yeah, so it was pretty busy day. I went until work later because since it's getting darker faster, I've been trying to get Riley her walk in the morning. That way I can walk her twice during the day where there's still light. Um, and then maybe by the time I get home, if it's dark out, yeah, I don't really feel comfortable walking around the city when it's dark. So um, yeah, she's been created quite a bit today and I feel kind of bad about it. Um, obviously it doesn't happen very often, most of the time I'm here, so she's only created when I'm at work, but there are still those rare occasions where she needs to be in there longer, but um, I still manage to break it up for her. So even though I'm at work, I come home for lunch every day and I walk her, so she has that one hour break. And then after work today, I was still able to come home and give her that uh, one hour break as well before I went to see a condo, which was unfortunately just too close-knit for me. And it's really unfortunate because I'm starting to realize that if I wanted to find a place cheaper than what I pay for right now, it might not be to my specifications. Namely, uh, it's just unrealistic to not be too close to somebody in the city. Um, and it sucks because I just... Sometimes when I go to these viewings, um, it feels like it's not the greatest thing to do where I just pick up on something immediately. So when we were driving to the condo, I was looking around the neighborhood and I saw like certain things that I didn't really like. And then once I got there and I went inside, I heard a neighbor's baby crying. And it's true, you can hear those noises when you're actually in your place. But I think if I were to go outside and hear that uh, relatively frequently, if I lived there, I wouldn't be too thrilled about it. Um, and also it was like a courtyard, which dispersed into like four doors on each side. And I don't like that idea where I have to always go through this gate as well as my neighbors. So, Sammy's making so much noise. He's trying to prepare to poop. You know, every time I record, he happens to be shitting. He's very particular about the way the litter has to sit before he decides to deposit his stuff. But um, yeah, I, it's like a central area that everyone has to pass through. So I just worry that if I have to always pass through there, maybe I will encounter people very often and I don't really want that. Um, I might have to just accept the fact that if I want specifics that I find important in where I live, I will most likely have to pay similar or more than what I'm paying now. Hi, you. Oh, she is like just overly excited right now. Hmm. Like extremely excited. And sometimes I like, I try to think about what it would be like to be 
an animal that is just just overly excited like those moments where she's sitting there and you see her tail wagging furiously and can you imagine if you're a human and you're just like oh, like i'm so excited i can't contain myself like <laughs> it's so funny seeing them like that sometimes because they're just like trying to contain their excitement but they can't and she's just kind of all over the place right now so she's so weird But yeah, if the property is being um, advertised by one of those property management companies, then I'm very discouraged because those are really annoying to deal with. And they just seem like more hoops that you have to jump through to rent a place. Whereas if I dealt with a private owner, it's literally go there, see it, and if you like it, sign me up. And these fucking property management places do the open houses which i 90 percent of the time can't attend so that's even more frustrating but there are so many places that are pretty decent that are under these and then it kind of like cuts my search down even more and my search is already extremely narrowed by this girl right here you're licking me so much right now i like to just flick her tongue Uh, up here. <laughs> I knocked it to the side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Thanksgiving is also next week. Um, I don't really have any plans. Maybe I will take that opportunity to go hiking. Yeah, I am not really much of a holiday person. I also don't have the Friday after Thanksgiving off. I was considering taking it off, but now I don't have enough PTO hours because I get garbage benefits where I work. So I could either take like half a day pay time off and then either make up the other half or I think I might just go in because if there's not a lot of people, around or if there's literally nobody then I can like sneak on home be sneaky so that's an option wow she ran away from me why are you so far <laughs> look at this guy he's always sitting on my shoes I don't understand Sammy but yeah overall about the movie um I think it was pretty good in the sense that it was relatable. It was relatable not necessarily in the sense of only the main character. Um, interestingly enough, I found myself relating more to the mother this time. And um, it was kind of hard for me to put myself in the main character's shoes who plays a teenager because she would do a lot of typical teenage things like fall for the bad guy who wasn't entirely bad but wasn't the kind that was boyfriend material or she would ditch her best friend um, and she would just care about a lot of the things that are meaningless as you grow older like she wanted to lose weight to look like the magazine girls and stuff like that um, and I think maybe it's I, I guess for certain things like that, um, it has always been either peer pressure or just having very low self-esteem, maybe. And I find it hard to relate to stuff like that because I, I guess I've never really been that person. I can't think of a situation in high school where I felt like I did something because of peer pressure. Um, I didn't really hang around bad people, I just hung around religious Asians, so they didn't really do anything bad. I was never around drugs as a teenager, I never even was around many people who smoked cigarettes, so there aren't many scenarios that could happen for me to feel pressured into doing anything. Um,
but there was a good amount of humor in the movie. Um, I think it was, I, I really enjoyed the dialogue actually. There would be times where maybe the characters would be doing something that I couldn't really relate to or it felt kind of stupid maybe, but um, the way that the dialogue was written made it so that it was enjoyable to watch nonetheless. And I think that they showed her character growth pretty well because I always feel like if I cry during a movie, then obviously it touched me emotionally in some way. And that's usually a good indicator for me that I really enjoyed a movie. And I kind of went into this movie um, with really high expectations because of the reviews it was receiving and all the critics praise and all of that. So I'm kind of glad that it didn't disappoint me because I was a little concerned about that, but I didn't really know what to expect. I had a small understanding of what the plot would be like, but I don't really research a movie extensively before I watch it. So yeah, Lady Bird is a really good movie. I definitely recommend people watch it. Uh, it is pretty late now. But since she has been created so much today, I think I'll try to stay up a bit longer just so she can roam and do her thing. But it's more like right now she's watching some cats wrestling. I might have to put a stop to that.